Okay, I just finished my third year with my rain barrels. Um, I'm just re making a recording because I just wanted to show you uh, some of the hardware I updated it with. So the rain barrels are pretty much the same, they look the same. Uh, the fish have been taken out, but you can see it's been rainy here where I am, it's all the way full. Um, but down here is where I did a little extra work, and for the people that are making their own rain barrels, this is going to save you a lot of time. This is a, a Y spout that I hooked up to my uh, to my regular uh, spigot or whatever it's called. But this thing is awesome because basically, you see the green one connects straight into this one, so they're constantly connected. But now when I want water, I don't have to unscrew anything. I just use this separate one, and all I have to do is uh, grab the end over here. So here's the end of it, and then this one starts it up, and then there you go. Now I don't have to unscrew anything, because before I was unscrewing the green one and blah blah blah. There's too much work. So I went down to Home Depot and I bought two of these guys. So each one of these now has a uh, wide joint on it, and now I can access the water much easier. <laughs> and if you're making your own, it's just a little idea to go make your life a little better. Okay? So yeah, these are my rain rails. Okay, I've had a couple people ask me how are the olive trees doing. Well, here's one of them. Okay, I've replanted it, obviously, and it's actually grown pretty well, all things considered. This is the one that was ripped up by the squirrels, and I'll have a little uh, view of this one against the wall in a second. But yeah, you can see it's growing quite well. And there's a little better view of it. There it is against the wall. So yeah, this was originally only this big, I think it was, in the video. You can see how much it's taken off since it's gotten a little bit extra care and it's gotten a little older. Got a fancy schmancy pot. Yeah, that's one of the olive trees. Okay, so this is my second attempt at loquat trees. And really guys, these are like really low maintenance trees. You can just plant them in the in any kind of soil and they really just pick up and take care of themselves. So this is my second attempt with the loquats. I got four of them and I just put them in sphagnum moss. You can see underneath the rocks. And the rocks are there to keep the squirrels out. But uh, yeah, these have uh, done really well for the second attempt, and you can see that they're uh, they've really picked up. They're nice and healthy and green. So these are a new round of loquats that actually my grandmother gave to me. She gave me the seeds. Here's the uh, fig tree. You can see I've braided it all the way around, and I've created uh, uh, basically like a little bit more of like a living uh, art piece as opposed to a fig tree. Man, yeah, this is a fig tree. Once again, it hasn't flowered or given me any kind of fruit. And you can see the rope where it's kind of hanging it all together. Yeah, I took some, I braided it, and then I, uh, sorry, that's my neighbor's annoying dog. Actually, my annoying neighbor's annoying dog. And uh, I braided it, and I've, I tied a rock to it to pull it down. So that's why you kind of get like this like sweeping kind of tipped over kind of look to it. So that's that. Okay, and these are the other two olive trees that you guys have seen in other videos. There's the, uh, I've repotted them since you guys have seen them, but this is the, uh, the two olive trees I got from Greece. They're, uh, yeah, they're doing well. They're, uh, they're just, you can see the new growth on this one, and you can see the other one, yep, yeah, and then you can see the bright green growth on it right over here, and here, and here, so, yeah, these ones are doing well too. This one's the, uh, the little one from Kalamata, this little olive tree, and this one is from Zakynthos. Wonderful little island. See how well it's growing. And then right next to it are my. Um, these are the. Uh, what are they called? Persimmonums. <clears throat> I grew some persimmonums from seed. Uh, when they were in season last year, I put them in the fridge for, geez, like three, four months. They were sitting in the fridge in a cold space. I planted about like 10 of them and three of them ended up growing and I won't be surprised next year. They said that if it doesn't grow the first year, you should have more growing uh, the following year. So these three started this year. I'm just going to let them, let the cold take care of their business. And then these will hopefully just uh, cycled out and then I'll put them in the basement or something and have them uh, get ready to grow for next year.